Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome to Friday, the 4th of November, 2022, here at Giga Texas. As you can see by the camera shaking around, we have some pretty inclement weather. I was fortunate to be able to get the drone flight done today, despite some of the rain and the wind. But as you can see here, we're having some pretty strong storms gonna be coming through the rest of the day. And I'm glad I got the drone video done before that. Hopefully everybody here at Giga Texas and around the area will do okay with all of these uh, weather that's coming through. Also, something I want to point out, uh, next week, as you can see here, uh, down about five miles south of Giga Texas at the Circuit of the Americas Formula One racetrack, they're having the Electrify Expo 2022. And if you're in the local area, it might be worth to try to get some tickets and come out to see that. You can see the link here, it'll be in the video description as well. Now they're going to have all kinds of electric vehicles, from scooters and bikes to cars and a whole bunch more, so it should be a lot of fun. For the intro here today at Giga Texas, a lot to see in the video, but I want to just highlight one thing, and that is the arrival of yet another bridge crane. As you can see here, this is a smaller bridge crane, kind of standalone. It's got the white components right next to it with the columns and so forth. So this will be assembled as a unit. And since it's small, it's most likely going to be used probably over by the die casting uh, milling machines, probably for some of their, uh, the dies themselves or some other work. But again, this isn't the casting machine structure. I'll have to take a look sometime in the future inside to see how that looks. But right now, this is the second of bridge cranes that have arrived on the site in the last couple of days. The first was the enormous one that went to the south at Stamping Extension. And that's already been moved inside. But this one here today uh, is uh, arriving and they're going to be installing it up here in the north east corner of casting. But anyway, as you can see, it's not the greatest of weather today, getting a little bit of rain. The camera's being blown around a lot. So I'll go ahead and end the, end the intro here and we'll get into the video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate the support and I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. Well, as you can see, it's quite rainy and uh, very windy here at the site today. I mentioned in the beginning of the intro that we're going to be having some pretty severe weather later today. So I wanted to try to get in and get the video going as quickly as possible while the weather was still good enough to fly. So what I decided to do is uh, start on the north end of the west side of General Assembly in the Battery Cell building. And we're going to fly towards the south. I'm staying up a little bit higher altitude up here just because of the uh, winds and the weather. Uh, but I wanted to give you a good view of how this side of the factory looks like, especially since everything is backlit uh, through the windows. And you can start seeing some of the details. And I'm going to, uh, in a few seconds, get ready to move the drone closer to the building. And we'll take a look inside a few of the sections that are well lit that we don't normally get a chance to see, specifically the third floor of the both where the General Assembly One is operational now, and also in the expansion third floor just to the south of that. So as we get in a little bit closer, sorry about a little bit of the raindrops on the uh, lens, but that should clear up. You can see quite a bit of the 4680 battery cell uh, structural packs being stored on the left hand side and on the right hand side you get a chance to see quite a bit more of the uh, crates, materials, equipment and a variety of other supplies that have been brought in and are being stored on the third floor and uh, 
only this part of the building is lit up on that third floor. The rest is not so well lit. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the drone down and try to give you a little bit of a view of some of the reconfiguration work that's going on in the inside of the main entrance. And uh, it looks like there's some sort of a, a pattern being done, a little bit different color on the concrete uh, just inside as well. But uh, with the way the weather is and some of the uh, reflections on the windows, it's not the best of views, but hopefully that gives you at least an idea of what it looks like. Also looks like the uh, Model Y that's uh, got the horns is uh, still outside the main entrance as well. So let's go ahead and proceed down towards the south end of the factory. So as we wrap around the end of the building, this will give you a good view of the cranes that have been assembled, the drilling operation that's uh, underway, and that's to put in some piers into the uh, uh, areas of the ground that have been exposed by removing all of the concrete. And it's also part of the process to prepare for construction on this end of the building as well. You see crews on the left hand side preparing rebar cages for the bores that are being drilled and those will be what uh, is put down into the bores and then concrete poured around it to help support the footings for columns uh, at some point in the future. You also see some workers on this man lift attending to the very tall drill and uh, the way the drill works is it's attached to this uh, crane and the sheer weight of all of that mechanism and the drill itself is enough for it to uh, uh, drill into the ground uh, to the depth that is necessary. As you can see, it's quite a bit of rain right now on the site. Also kind of a little bit dim view because of the uh, cloud layer, but uh, I think it'll be good for the rest of the video. It'll improve a little bit um, as we continue through. So I'm going to proceed down towards the south end of the cyber pond. Just again, to give you an idea of how the material storage and all of the steel materials appear today, you can still see some more trench work going on near where that light is. This is for underground conduit, and I believe at some point this conduit will allow them to uh, relocate all of the wires on these shorter telephone poles and then get rid of these power lines. So let's proceed further towards the east along the south end and sees what some of the activity looks like today. You can see more steel uh, right in the center and also on the top left being uh, stockpiled for the construction. Some of these concrete vaults that will be used for the conduit. You also see on the upper left hand or right hand side of the screen some of the vaults have doors that kind of swing open to the top. And you can see some of the work going on with the conduit uh, right in that uh, section. This is a good view of all of that steel that's being stored on the east side and also just how the concrete removal has been progressing from this side heading towards the west. And as you can see, uh, the amount of concrete that has been removed continues to uh, progress and now the majority of what used to be this concrete lot has now been uh, had the concrete uh, saw cut and removed. You can also see where the Model Ys are currently located. They need to be moving these pretty soon so they can continue with the concrete removal. 
People ask, why are all the lights flashing on the Model Ys? I believe that they're getting software updates while they're in this uh, temporary lot. This is another view of the drilling operation and how this side of the concrete lot appears today. And I will pan back towards the east just so you can get an idea of how all of these Model Ys and this south end appears. As we move towards the building, you'll note that uh, there is some activity up on that uh, top of the platform. Also, this red Model Y just down at the bottom is uh, where there used to be a tent, but because of some high winds, that tent got uh, uh, sort of uh, blown away. But now they're still using that for, I think, water testing uh, for the newly built cars. What I'm trying to do is look inside the stamping extension and see what some of the activity looks like today. I was also looking for that very large bridge crane that was delivered two days ago. And it's kind of hard to see, but one of the interesting things, and it was completely by accident, is you'll see at the bottom of the screen in just a few seconds, the new bridge crane, that smaller one that goes up to the casting machine structure, will drive right by here on the way up to the north end. And uh, uh, before that uh, crane arrives, right there you go, you can see it going right by the screen. And you can also see inside a little bit where the isolation foundation for the AIDA stamping press uh, will be installed. And I'm just following really quickly where that uh, new bridge crane is driving with that truck along back towards the north end. And we'll get a look at that uh, by the casting machine structure a little bit later in the video. as I mentioned, all of these parts that are stored here with the blue and the brown and the blue topped crates are part of the AIDA stamping press. This will be installed in the south end of the building and it's used to stamp out or shape metal that is, uh, forms the exterior skin of vehicles, particularly in this case, the Cybertruck. So let's proceed uh, towards the north, looking along the eastern side of the building. And I want to approach this small parking lot with the helicopter pad just to show you how it is changing and transforming into a Model Y staging lot, it looks like. Uh, they started this a couple of days ago, and I think this will be one of the places that they use to replace the south end lot that uh, is being demolished. So this may be a great place for them to bring the Model Ys for the work that's uh, necessary until they're ready for transportation. And speaking of transportation, this is the new vehicle lot and transportation yard. You can see many of the trucks are lining up here to pick up all these Model Ys. And while I was filming, there was a steady stream of these trucks arriving, at least 10 during my time videoing the, uh, the site today. So this is a good view off into the distance of how the battery cathode plant looks and some of the activity around there. And we'll head over there in a little bit. But also I wanted to give you a good view of the North uh, Warehouse on Wheels yard that has been transformed into a parking lot and also how the Warehouse on Wheels with all of the trails trailers uh, appears this morning. A couple of interesting things that I want to point out here next to this uh, workshop and all the steel that's nearby that uh, some of it's being fabricated, some of it's being painted for use and installation inside the main factory. Uh, there's this clearing off to the left that has been recently prepared and also to the upper right hand side of the screen you can also see yet another section being prepared with earthwork. And this entire section and where all these trailers continues to be transformed and materials, trailers, and equipment move to other locations. So it seems like they're slowly preparing this for some type of uh, new construction. This is 
the area I call the Model Y graveyard, and you can see some of the uh, bodies that have uh, been uh, uh, tested or, or uh, rejected for some reason. You can see quite a bit of parts into the bins. On the upper part of the bin, you can see some uh, structural pack or battery packs and waiting for recycling as well. And just overall, quite a bit of uh, production, maybe testing that uh, is brought over here and prepared for recycling. So let's approach the battery cathode plant and take a look at some of the progress up here today. One of the things you'll notice is that the trench on the east side is being filled over now, at least most of it on the south end, so that indicates that the blue water pipe installation is nearing an end. Uh, they also have new trailers that have just been delivered here on the left-hand side of the screen, and also you can get some views inside. These white covered crates are York uh, crates, and this is part of a heating and ventilation system. And all of these parts used to be stored on the west side of the highway over in that uh, material staging uh, yard, which is also a foundation for future construction. Continuing to the north, we can see more of the water pipe being installed in the trench at the bottom of the screen. And also you can see how the wall panel installation where the three deep foundations uh, have been installed appears today. And you can see that most of the wall panels are now uh, installed. So we continue to move further towards the north. You can see how some of the materials are being staged here and what that looks like and also this steel structure next to the tent and it looks like uh, they've done a little bit of work on the inside but they still have not put the roof or the wall uh, installation yet. I'm going to give you a quick view of the clearing area here to the north. Materials being staged on the left hand side of the screen in the big field in the upper left, uh, it's hard to see, but I'll put an arrow here. You can see where they are still doing some of that uh, core sample drilling, and that may indicate some future construction. This is a good view of the steel, and you can see that more uh, parts have been delivered, including a truss-like uh, series of materials as well. Wrapping around to the west side, you can see wall panel installation has really progressed on this north and west side. You can also see some openings for most likely some sort of uh, ventilation system. And we'll continue to the south. You can see how this uh, material staging area looks and also the concrete apron that was just poured two days ago. It looks like it's in the curing process and they're preparing some sort of a retaining wall around the outside. Maybe it's a part of a perimeter grade beam as well. And if that's the case, we may see a structure. This is the geopier work that is going on on this new foundation. Looks like more geopier equipment has arrived. And you can see those holes in the ground kind of in a line. They'll drill those holes with the smaller of the equipment, and then they'll fill the holes with gravel, and the taller one will compact it down, creating a pier. And you can see how they are working on both the east and the west sides of this section. Uh, more of the gravel is being delivered right now, and uh, they are putting in uh, hundreds of these piers to support the ground and prepare for footings for columns for that uh, future structure. You also see what looks like to be some sort of reconfiguration of this small pond. Perhaps they will be ended up filling this pond over and then reclaiming the land for future construction. Further to the west, you can see how this new clearing is progressing, quite a bit of earthwork machinery, and uh, some of the pits that were dug the other day have been filled back in, and it looks like they are preparing the grade, possibly to level it out. Still not sure if this is gonna be a parking, a uh, staging, or maybe a construction location, but we'll have to see. We're proceeding up towards the electrical switch yard and taking a look at some of the activity today. One of the most obvious things is that both of those square foundations for the transformers have now been poured with concrete. And we'll come back for a little bit closer look at that in a moment. It looks like there's some concrete being poured near that uh, control office that was uh, recently completed. And you can see how the north end of the construction site appears with some of the materials for more of those A-frame structures and also just the uh, 
material uh, steel assembly onto the footings uh, on this side. It looks like most of the bus bars and the disconnects have been installed on this side of the construction. As we move further to the south, you can see this kind of a small field of uh, new footings and these have been just completed. And it looks like the drill is uh, idle today, maybe because of all of the uh, inclement weather. But as I mentioned, there's a closer view of the two foundations now have been both poured. And it looks like they are starting to do some modifications of kind of a perimeter small wall around the edge around the two foundations. So let's proceed to the south back towards the main factory. And there's some interesting things I want to show you near the casting machine structure. So as we approach this portion of the casting machine structure, you can see this bridge crane that uh, we saw on the south end. It's now worked its way up here towards the northwest corner of casting. You can see it's uh, painted red with the Tesla emblem. This is a 10 ton smaller bridge crane and all the white components you see are going to be what is used to set this bridge crane up. It's kind of like a standalone bridge crane, smaller. It may be used for the DMG Mori milling machines, which are just inside the glass windows here. You can also see a number of body uh, and whites uh, for model wise, some of them painted, uh, arranged out here. And then those interesting uh, jigs with the uh, triangular uh, kind of shaped uh, superstructure. I think those are just for alignment uh, for some of the bodies, but I'm not really sure. Uh, this is a good view of some of the deliveries, some of the equipment, uh, and some of the modular components for the new paint line that they've been installing. It uh, looks like there's also some HVAC type venting, possibly uh, related to some of the heating and uh, uh, fume elimination systems that have been uh, recently delivered as well. So I'm going to pull back just so you can see the ongoing construction here between the parking lot and the road. And it looks like uh, they've got some section of that covered. It may be some concrete that was recently poured and they're kind of protecting it from all of the rain and uh, the wind. But anyway, uh, kind of abbreviated flight today. Uh, Going to be some pretty heavy winds and uh, heavy rain and some thunderstorms in the area. So hopefully everything goes well here at Giga Texas. Thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend.